Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Luke Smith. And in this episode, we're gonna continue our playthrough of Samurai Spirit and hopefully we're gonna save the village. Yay! <laughs> or... Burnt down to the ground. Right, <laughs> the village, it's not in good shape. We've got no barriers, there's four houses left, two families, and all of our samurai have been wounded in one way or another. But we're not gonna give up hope just yet. We had a couple of great suggestions, one from Daniel Waller and another one from David Davison. Very similar, actually, but they both wrote nice, detailed responses. Hopefully we won't let you guys down. Let's go to the table and see what they want us to do. With Dice K's ability, he can pass one, threes, and fives to the left or right, and this is a three, yes. right? And so the suggestion was to pass this to Luke. Now, Luke, what are you gonna do with it? Defend. Okay, now there's another part to this, which, well, we're gonna see right now because it's Luke's turn. What Daniel and David noted was that Luke's battle penalty will destroy one of the cards that have been defended. And this is not necessarily a bad thing because it frees up some extra space. If Luke draws stuff that he doesn't want, now you can defend against it a little yeah. more, right? So this will be discarded. And when it's discarded, it goes here to the graveyard. Well, your battle penalty's over. You can go ahead, Luke, and face the next raider if that's what you wanna do. Hmm, all right, well we got a two. Hmm. It's a wound battle penalty, but it's also a house. How do you feel about this one? I'm gonna defend too. You're gonna defend this one as well. All right, so do you wanna use your ability to draw another raider? Sure. Okay, I'd love to see you get a four. That would be amazing. Ooh. A one, that's a little less good. So this one, what do you think you wanna do here? I'm going to attack. Are you gonna put this one in your battle track? Yeah. All right, uh, what are you thinking here? Well, I'll go up to seven. Yes. And I need to go 10. Right. And he can pass three. So hopefully he'll get three, pass it over, I'll get 10 and we'll all be happy. <laughs> that would make us very happy. And the nice thing here is this doesn't have a battle penalty. Yep. So nothing we have to worry about. And you covered up the other battle penalty. Goro Bay has no battle penalties to resolve, so I will face oh, a oh, five, wow. this is a lieutenant. And there's no choice here. I cannot defend against it, it has no symbol. It's gonna have to go on the battle track and that's gonna increase it by five. It's not a two, four, or a six and that means I will not be able to ignore the battle penalty with my ability. Now here's the challenge. If Dice K gets a three, we'd like to give it to Luke, right? Because that will trigger your Kiai power. But if we don't cover up this battle penalty, we don't have any barriers here. The fences are all gone. That means another house is gonna get burned down. Yep. Okay, so now it's over to Dice K. And let's see, a one. Now this is an interesting situation because yeah. we could pass this one over to Gorbe, cover up that terrible battle penalty. Yay. But then Gorbe would receive a wound. But the battle penalty of burning down something is really bad right now because we have no fences or barricades. Yeah. That means a farmstead's gonna go. Is a wound better? I think it is. Uh, well, I mean, on the upside, it will flip Gorbe over. Yep. And that will extend my track and give me a better Kiai power. Do it, do it! <laughs> okay, I will, I will do it. I will pass it over here. And hopefully that wasn't a terrible decision. This will advance me to the six. My turn. Okay, let's hope for something good. Yes, a three! Are you kidding me? Woo. That is amazing. If you had gotten a four or five or six, wow. I oh wasn't prepared gosh. for you to be out of the game this and early. And that's the house symbol, the one I've already covered up. Yeah, well, I mean, not that you put it over here anyway, Yeah. right? No. Because this way, we now go straight to your Ki <sighs> power. And that means with your special ability, not only do you remove this one, which you normally get to remove, you also get to remove that the one. three. That's awesome because now it drops you right down no. to one. Fantastic. And what's the battle penalty on this card? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, that's awesome. No dice and still lucky, Luke. Okay, over to me. I do have a battle penalty here. I have to take another wound, but you can never have more than one wound token on your character. So when they haven't been flipped, now they get super enraged. But um, and they transform into Gorobe the bear. I actually kind of like that I turned into a bear. That's intense. All right, this is now gonna give me a new Ki power. When I hit 12, then I'll be able to take three of the raiders from this deck and immediately discard them. 
Hey everybody, uh, future Rodney and... Future Luke. Yes, this is the first time I think future Luke has shown up to correct a mistake. This is actually a different day than the video that you saw being recorded there. Because we finished playing through that entire third round of the game. We posted that video for our Watch It Played editors and they found a rather significant mistake. After turning into the super awesome Crazy Bear, Gorbe forgot to face a raider. We just went right on to Daisuke's turn. <laughs> yes, I know. And we continued playing through and, well, what happened happened. What I might do is put up that alternate universe ending in a separate episode so you can see how that version of the game played out. But what I've done here is gone back to that moment in time before the mistake was made, reshuffled the raider deck, and now we're going to continue through again and see what happens this time. So, regardless of what might ever have happened to the village before, it has a new chance now. So join us at the table and let's continue with Gorobe facing a new raider. Okay, so entering the alternate universe here, it's time to reveal the raider that Gorobe is going to face. Let's see. Oh, oh <laughs> no. yay! Wow. So this alternate universe is not very friendly. We've revealed a boss, and this is a value six, and it has two raiders. Uh, sim Dad. Yeah, what's that? Notice how six plus six equals twelve. Oh, hey, this is yeah. not so bad at all. Well, I was going to say this has two raider symbols, which would move two of the raiders from this deck into here. Yeah. Except, oh, you know what? This is something else. That's it's a, six. a six. So you get an R. I could have ignored it anyway. Yep. Um, but I think we will put this in like to the pile, like you said. Excellent math you did there. Like, Thank you. Very Thank quick. You. So we've got 12. Puts us on our Ki value. I get to use the awesome bear abilities yeah. right away. Okay, first of all, though, we're just going to remove uh, this one from hitting our Ki value. I'll bounce this down to 7. Throw this in the discard pile. And then three of these are going to come off. And let's see what three we're getting rid of. Four. Ooh, a five. five. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, excellent. That bear is ferocious. Now, we're over to Dice K's turn, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what Dice K gets. It's a Ooh. one. This one doesn't have a terrible battle penalty, and no. it's only a one. We could defend or pass it, but there's not really any bad effects we need to yeah. get rid of. What do you think? Maybe we just put this uh, over here? Sure. And just bounce Why it not? by one? Okay. Now, we have to be careful not to leave our defenses Yes. open as well. Before the end of the round, we need to fill those up as much as possible. But uh, over to you, Luke. Go ahead and see what uh, you get. Ooh. All right. Speaking of which, this is one maybe where we do want to defend. What, what do you think here, Luke? I'm going to defend. All right. Well, we'll match the family symbol there. Now, you could go again. No. Why not in this situation? Because no bow penalty, so in case. Okay, okay, in case you drew something that you yeah. couldn't defend and then you had a bad situation. All right, I think that's conservative, but, but probably smart. Okay, so coming over to me, I have a battle penalty here, but it's the six value, and I get to ignore sixes? Yes. That's excellent. However, let's see what battle comes up. Hmm, oh. a one. Wow. Look at this now. You have to attack. I, yeah, I have no choice here. And this is a little bit unfortunate because we do have a fire <sighs> symbol. So next turn, I would have to burn down one of the farmsteads. We don't have a lot of them left. Dice K might get something to pass, but there is a little bit of a hazard when Dice K keeps passing stuff, isn't it? Yes, because his defense never gets filled up. Right, right? And I was just saying, we need to fill up these defense yeah. slots, but you know, maybe we should have thrown this over here when we had the chance, yeah. right? Uh, well, all right. So we have, we have. Well, speaking of which, here's a family symbol we could put here, or we could cover up this rather nasty. I think we should cover it up. <laughs> all right. So we will cover it up, and that's going to put me down one more at eight. Oh wait, no, I should be at nine. Looks like I forgot to move my samurai last time. Okay, Luke. Let's hope for something. Oh, awful. <laughs> that is kind of awful. This is uh, one of the nasty bosses here. Has two symbols. This one means, again, you cannot defend when you have this one up. And this other symbol means that you have to take a random discarded raider and shuffle it back into your deck. And this one, you don't have much of an option here, do you? Because no. there's no symbol. You can't defend against it. We're going to have to put it here. And, and that, that puts you seven. Yeah, at seven. Now you could draw again and potentially cover it up, but you could also end up going over your ten ki. Do you want to push your luck here, Luke, and draw another raider? No. 
No? Okay. Well, then we're going to have to come back around here to Corbet and let's see what comes up. You know what? This is okay. I'm going to just match this yes. to the family symbol here and uh, pass things over to Dice K. Let's see what comes up. Now, this is a four. That means his ability can't be used to pass this particular raider. But we could actually put this over here. You know what I mean? And match yeah. up the farmstead. Yeah. That seems like a, a good choice. Okay, so Luke, it's back over to you. The first thing we realized is you cannot defend. So even if you draw the hat symbol, you can't put it over here on this raider. Yeah. And we also have to take a random one of these raiders here. Just shuffle this up quick. And then we're gonna put that into the raider deck. Okay, yep. so not sure what that is. Yeah. So these are getting shuffled up as well and forming a new face down deck. Now we don't have a lot left here. So we need no. to get some defense come on. cards out here. Hopefully this isn't too bad. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, that's the worst. Oh wait, no, this is even worse than I first realized because you have no choice. You have to put this one here. And I'm going over the limit. Oh no, Luke. Come on. So that means we're actually gonna have to burn down one of these farmsteads, Ooh. right? So, oh, if we were playing the hard version, we would have burnt down another farmstead. Oh yeah. Thankfully we're not. Unfortunately though, this means you're pretty much out of the game because on your next turn, you're gonna have to pass. Let's hope for some better fortune here from Gora Bay and, well, no, this is, oh gosh, Luke, this is not good either. Look what wow. I just drew, a four, and I can't match this to anything. Oh, yippee. So that oh means I'm gosh. going here. One, two, three, and I'm over my Ki value. And we burned down a village. And we burned down another building, and this would have been a wound. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that. But we have lots of other things to worry about. Past Rodney was right. There is a lot yes. to worry about. Past Rodney. Oh, right, you're right. That was future Rodney, but I'm from a future beyond that future. And Which this is, is future full. <laughs> this is future, future Luke as well, uh, because we made another mistake. And so we're back again from the future to correct that mistake. What was the mistake? Well, after the point in time where we just came in here, I declared we've lost the game because my battle penalty is a wound. So I was gonna take a wound at the start of my next turn. And then because I never found a hat to match up here on my defense side, I would take a wound at the end of the round and that would defeat my samurai. And if you lose a samurai, you lose the game. However, what's the value of this card, Luke? Four. And what does my ability do? Ignore four. Right, so I would not get a wound from this. So that means there's still a chance that we could win. In yes. that playthrough that we're now correcting, we lost. Yeah. We may win this one, I don't know. I don't know, who knows? We may not even get it right again. I may be back again from a future beyond even this one that I can't conceive of. But for now, let's go back to the table and see what happens. Well, Dice K is almost all on his own, yeah. isn't he? <laughs> right, the lone monkey, because both of these samurai I'm are- I'm about to pass You're out. right, you're right. So we'll flip this one over, see what Dice K gets. All right, Ooh. well, a wound. So oh, not, not particularly okay. keen to put this in the battle line, right? Because no. we don't want any wounds here. We could match the hat, but- We could pass it because it's the one to here. Yeah, and I'm not sure that we necessarily need to, but we have a few more raiders to go through here, and if Daisuke puts this and matches it now, yeah. it's gonna give him less options later, yeah. I think. I think. So, so we'll, which one do you wanna give it to? I suppose him. you wanna protect yourself, don't you? <laughs> well, I don't think it's gonna make a difference ultimately, so we'll put it here, even though my Gorbe's in a little more difficult situation. But, uh, so that's Daisuke's turn. Yep. Now we need to go over to yours. Now, we don't draw a raider. First we have to no. resolve the battle penalty and there is going to be a wound. You already have Yay. a wound, so you turn into your outrageous ah. form and it is... Tiger! Oh, that tiger, that's pretty cool. Now we already passed the ki value, so we have to stay past the ki value, even Aww. though this track extended, but we do get to remove the wound. Oh, and I should mention that other battle penalty on this raider just means that you don't get to use your natural ability, in this case, Luke wouldn't be able to draw a second raider, but well, he doesn't get to draw a first one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Also, if anyone has given you their natural ability to use using the support action, you would not be able to use those either. And my turn is going to be pretty simple. Oh, first we have to pass like that. That was your turn. Yep. I'm gonna be doing something similar here. 
I would take a wound, except、oh, it's a four,、no. so I don't、Yay. have to take the wound. So that's good, but I will have、yeah. to pass. Now things are back on Dice K's shoulders once again, and ooh, ooh. So this is a four, and it's a hat. So there's no bow penalty, which is pretty good. Yeah, so maybe that's an incentive to put this here. Is that what、it、you're thinking? Is. Okay, all right. So we'll go here. And down to five. Now it would be nice for us to pull another hat. I do want to mention if we get hats from this point on, even if it's a one, three, or five value that Dice K would normally get to pass, we won't be able to do that anymore because once you're passed out, it's as if you're not in the game anymore. Nothing、yeah. can be given to you. It also means you can't do a support action because supporting allows you to pass your ability. But again, there's technically no one here to pass to anymore. Okay, let's see what we have to face next. Ooh. Now this one, look, another hat. Boy, we、hats. had a lot of hats. I don't think we want to put this on the battle no. line. No. Four is kind of high. We so we'll match it over here. Yeah. And protect against a wound later at the end of the round, which is which is pretty good. One more. Well,、yeah. two more left. But let's see what this. Oh, <laughs> this one's a five, and we cannot match, right? So this one is、so、going to have to. So it has to be there. Yeah, it's going to have to go here. So that's going to put us down to ten.、Mm -hmm. So if this was a one, that would be super awesome. Yeah.、Let's... Well, the battle penalty. Oh, that's right. We now have to face、yes. the battle penalty. Good point, which is actually bad because, well, there's only one card left, so we won't face another. We just have to deal with this one. There's no way for us to get another wound. But a <laughs> but、thing. it's a two, and that means we're going to go past the ki value, which burns down another one of the farmsteads.、Yeah. We still have one left. That's good,、But、and we we survived. Well, we did survive, well,、yes. sort of, because the yeah, it's over. Yeah, you're right. It's over now. Yeah. So this is well, okay. Now we we're saying it's over, but not quite, right? Because we have to resolve any unresolved, any unmatched、oh, yeah. symbols here. So this is matched. This is matched. This isn't. So a wound is going to go. On Gorbay. Now we go down, and the farmsteads. This was very important、yes. because if any one of these wasn't matched, we would have lost. Okay, so now we look at the families. This one's matched. This one's matched, but this、uh. one isn't. So one of these families, unfortunately, is、uh, going to have to go away. But otherwise, we're good. So now we can actually. We get a bit. <laughs> so look at this. We save the village, and.、Um, You know, they got one farm and one little、uh, one、That's、little fence. That's so protective. <laughs> well, I think the pasts and the futures have finally caught up, and we we won, sort of. We stumbled and tripped our way into this win, it appears. But now, at least, you've seen the game played more or less correctly. Now, there might have been some things and choices that we made that you maybe would have done differently. You can certainly post about that in the comments. I have no doubt some people were thinking, "Why did you do this instead of that?" Well, we went with our instincts. We did what we thought was right, and in the end, it it worked out just barely. And I apologize for some of the mistakes we made and had to make some corrections there. But again, hopefully, you've seen how it is supposed to work. And you know, when you play a game and you make mistakes, sometimes you don't catch them. That's just the way it goes. But、uh, thankfully, because of our viewers, a couple of these mistakes were caught and we could correct them. And if you would like to see the original playthrough of this game, this third round. Uh, after the first time we made a mistake, I'm going to put that up as a bonus episode. So you can see different ways in which things can go. But otherwise,、uh, you know, I, I thought it was interesting. Off camera, Luke, you said something.、Um, you said that it's like a movie. Yeah. The heroes sacrificed each other for the villain. That's true, right? Because we all ended up sort of passed out at the very least, passed out if not defeated, and、uh, we did so to save the village. We've got one little farm left and one. Little family, and、uh, hopefully they'll be able to rebuild and、uh, go on and have a happy life. But till the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.